Good morning. I'm sure that all of you have seen one of these before. It's a maze, isn't it? And you know what you do, you take your pencil and you try to find the best path. So I'm gonna think I'll go this way first. Uh-oh, came to a dead end. I'm gonna have to make another choice. Let me try this way. I'll go down this way and oh, mm. that was a bad decision too. Let me see, what if I do it this way? Go around, oh, I'm making progress now. Oh, and down, oh, look, I think that that might've been the way to go. Did you know that finding your way through life can sometimes be like finding your way through a maze? Each day we have to make choices and we don't always know which way to go. Sometimes we even choose the wrong path and we have to back up and start over. I was making a new recipe the other day and I gathered all of my ingredients together. I'm not a very good cook. I got all my ingredients out and I got ready to make this delicious dessert. And the first thing I was supposed to do was crush the pretzels. Uh-oh, I realized I didn't have a tool to crush the pretzels. And then I was supposed to beat the cream cheese. I forgot to get the mixer out. So I had to back up, get the right tools, and start all over. Jesus knew that life in this world would be difficult. That's why he prayed for his disciples when it was time for him to leave this world. He prayed to God. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe. No one was lost, but now I am coming to you and I ask you to protect them and keep them safe. We too have guides to help us make our way through the maze of life. Tools, we'll call them. The Bible and prayer. Life may not be easy, but with God leading the way, we know that we will never get lost. Let's bow our heads and say a prayer together. God, as we search for the path that will lead us safely through this world, we place our trust in you and ask for your guidance and protection. In Jesus' name, amen.